Peacekeepers from the United Nations mission in South Sudan, ONMIS, frequently patrol areas in South Sudan as part of their Chapter 7 mandate from the UN Security Council granted shortly after the country's secession from Sudan in July 2011 to protect Dude, civilians. Line bana, line. Main task of this patrol is to look around Akobo per se and see, uh, to roam around Okobo and show UN presence. By showing UN presence, we are showing that UN is present all around and we are restricting the movement of any unwanted element which are around. The patrol also aims to protect the many humanitarian aid convoys that operate in the new nation, particularly in Jonglei state, which provide assistance to those affected by the fighting between armed groups and the South Sudan military, the Sudan People's Liberation Army, SPLA. Indian commander VK Upadhaya said the peacekeeper's job was to protect security for the people, patrol the area and check any unwanted presence in Jonglei. The presence of uh, UN is basically uh, implies the, the security which we are providing, the help to the local people which we can provide, and other activities like you know the people got stuck. We are helping them out. Same manner, we are here to help and to secure. In Akoba town, peacekeepers are interacting actively with the local population is a confidence building exercise. Is when the, the public see us patrolling, they get confidence uh, from the UN uh, presence around the, the area because they have been having fear. Protection of civilians is one of the mandates of ONMIS. Following an exchange of fire which broke out between the SPLA and an armed group on 6 March in the market area of Pibor town in eastern Jongle, hundreds of residents temporarily fled the town. The residents sought refuge at the Anmis compound. This has been a regular occurrence in the past year. Onmis continues to do its utmost to support local authorities and the government of South Sudan to maintain peace in the area. The mission also conducts various patrols and protection of civilians within its capacity. But peacekeepers can find themselves in a situation where they put their lives in danger. This year alone, five peacekeepers and seven civilians were killed in an ambush in Jongle. On April 10, 2013, the UN family paid a final tribute to five peacekeepers of the Unmiss Indian Battalion who died in Jongle ambush. Honoring the memory of these peacekeepers, Major General Delali Sakei, Unmiss Force Commander, said that reprehensible act would not deter the Unmiss Force and its peacekeepers from working to protect communities and civilians in Jonglei and elsewhere in South Sudan. The fallen peacekeepers were from India. These brave men and gallant men who lie before us today have dedicated their lives to the service of peace and stability in this troubled part of the world. But as we see now, they have made the ultimate sacrifice. Instead of celebrating their achievements, we rather gather here to mourn their demise. It is a great loss of countrymen, a loss of husbands, a loss of fathers, brothers and friends, and indeed to some of us, a loss of our beloved sons. 
speaking at a memorial ceremony held in Anmis compound adjacent to Juba International Airport, Hilda F. Johnson, Anmis Special Representative of the Secretary General for South Sudan, praised the courage and professionalism of the Indian peacekeepers who fought until their last breath to protect colleagues in line of duty. This mandate and this mission does not end with such an attack. This horrendous act, which we hope is an isolated incident, will not stop us from carrying out our work. We will carry on and persist in our collective resolve to work with and for the people of South Sudan in building their new country. We will not be deterred. The mandate from member states is clear, said Hilda Johnson. ANMIS is here to support and stabilize the new independent country, and the peacekeepers are here to help and protect the people of South Sudan, particularly those under imminent threat. ANMIS is working with South Sudanese partners on the adoption and implementation of a comprehensive peace, stability and protection of civilians, plans for Jongle, as well as other states suffering from inter-communal and inter-ethnic violence.